All right, good morning, everyone. So um, let's get into it really quickly today. So today, as you can see, I went long the hot stock of the day around 301, and I sold most of it around 360. Uh, so I kind of want to explain what my thought process was, what I was thinking, and what my overall goal for this trade was. That way, everyone can kind of be on the same page as me. So first things first is uh, I'm trying to adapt and go long in this new market cycle. So one of my biggest regrets during the pandemic markets of 2020, 2021, was that everyone was closing their eyes and making a lot of money longing. And I was closing my eyes and making a decent amount shorting. I would make 10 or $20,000 every single day and shut off my computer, right? But what would end up happening is I would see long buy traders just, you know, essentially finding what stock has the most attention on the day and just going long, right? And after years and years and years of seeing that type of action, I told myself that if we ever enter a new market cycle where the hype is back into the world, that I want to be able to capitalize on that opportunity. So if you look right now on the overall indexes, the indexes are nearly breaking out to all time highs, right? The indexes are breaking out to all time highs. So that tells me that we are going to be entering a new bull market cycle, right? And small cap stocks usually lag behind uh, large cap stocks. So it's kind of a delayed move. But anyway, what my goal is every single day, guys, is I want to start to go long the hot stock of the day, especially if it's holding above VWAP, right? Especially my thought process was this. I could buy it here at $3 and worst case scenario, I sell it at $2.89. I'll lose 10 or 11 cents a share because that would be a trend break. But on the best case scenario, you know, I can make 50, 60 cents, right? So that's exactly what I did. So today's trade uh, pre-market before the market even started was a long, right? A stock that looked like it was about to break out of high of the day. And I just let it grind up, grind up, grind up. And as we entered the half dollar mark of 350, I started to trim some along the way. I trimmed some, I trimmed some, I trimmed some. And then as we started to dip, I rebought that dip right here using this support. And now hopefully I can get a bounce towards the high of the day to sell out the rest, right? So that's kind of what I'm trying to do in this market cycle is I'm not trying to just go short. I'm trying to go long as well on the hot stock. So if it's a day one stock that has volume, CMMD has 15 million shares of volume free market. This is a very high volume stock, right? If this stock has 15 million shares traded, it's above VWAP, it's a day one, and it's a stock that has all the attention, I'm gonna try to go long, right? So far, still long on this. Hopefully I get a breakout towards high of the day to sell some more. But I'm very happy that I am now, you know, after almost 10 years of trading, starting to take both sides of the trade. I'm not just taking the short, I'm taking the long as well. And today was a great example. Worst case scenario, I lose 10 cents. Best case scenario is exactly what happened. So that's the trade on CMMB. Next thing I want to talk about is Mara. So I'm sure you guys saw the news that the SEC's Twitter got hacked, right? So the SEC, the the uh, bureau that's out there to protect the investors got hacked, right? How how ironic, right? So all these Bitcoin stocks have been going up in anticipation of the Bitcoin ETF, right? So as I'm recording this video on January 10th, the Bitcoin ETF is not live yet. But what's been happening is these stocks have been moving up and moving up, moving up in anticipation of the Bitcoin ETF going live. And what ended up happening is yesterday, when that fake tweet came out, it initiated a sell the news. People didn't know that it was fake until around, you know, 5.30, 6.30-ish, right? So this move turned out to be a sell the news scenario, right? So a sell the news scenario usually happens when there is an anticipated catalyst coming out and the stock that is trying to be anticipated for, whether it be Mara, whether it be Coin, all run up in anticipation of it, and then when the news when the news comes out of that catalyst, it often triggers a sell off because smart money that entered in earlier on the stock is now exiting into dumb money that is late on the stock. So we are anticipating that a ETF is indeed going to be approved. And when it does get approved, that's going to be a sell the new scenario. So I want to keep Mara on watch in the case that the actual Bitcoin news does get approved. They're not actually hacked and it turns into a sell the new scenario. So that's kind of gonna be my radar for Mara as well. So let's build the watch list guys. 
SITG was yesterday's hot stock of the day. I actually debated going short somewhere around here, but I kind of just got a little bit nervous, I hesitated a little bit, so didn't really take a trade. So what I'm looking for now is I'm draw my lines, 380, you know, 370. So I'll look for 370s, 380s, and maybe $4 on this one. Hopefully it bounces. So SNTG, day two, low hanging fruit today. Looking for a morning bounce towards 360. 380 and $4 short. CMND, CMND, hot stock of the day. I went long pre market and looking for a bounce to sell into. This has extreme high volume pre market, so it has the potential to trap and squeeze ignoring the short for now hey feeling pretty good today guys feeling pretty good today 669017 plus 1919 8609 that's what i'm talking about 